Hello and welcome to this, the 11th Coat of Armies painting tutorial for Warlord Games Epic Scale Napoleonics. My name's John and I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Today we'll be having a look at the Hazars. Um, I've done these up as the 7th Regiment, the Queen's Own. Um, they did drive me absolutely nuts painting these and if you can farm them out and get someone else to do them then I would strongly suggest that. Uh, those horrible little washboards on their police jackets is just nightmarish. But nonetheless, they're done. And before I progress any further, um, a shout out, a big thanks to uh, Stuart Mack of Miniature Realms for um, giving me the encouragement to get on and do this. Thank you very much. I've done the horse's base coat as Bugman's Glow from Citadel, or Games Workshop, call them what you will. Purely on the grounds that I haven't found a lot of use for this paint other than the roof tiles. So I'm going to have a fiddle, bit of an experiment, and see how this comes out. Games Workshop's uh, Kislev Flesh, further fleshy bits, obviously. Uh, Going to give the officer white gloves whether he likes them or not. And I've gone with uh, Vallejo's London Grey for the trouser turnbacks. I'm doing Games Workshop's Celestra Grey for the saddle cloths. Uh, the officer is will be in dark Prussian blue, which will be most of the uniform too. Games Workshop's Abaddon Black for the uh, scabbard, sabretash boots, stirrup, main tack and the uh, fun bit on the police there. And the sabre on the other side. Okay, Vallejo's uh, dark Prussian blue for the jacket, trousers and the blanket rolls. I've used Games Workshop's Mournfang Brown for the uh, Busby and the Carbine stock. Vallejo's buff for the uh, saddle for the troopers, and there is a teeny weeny tiny bit of Vallejo brown leather for the stirrup strap there. So I've given the horse a wash over with uh, Gore Grunt of Fur contrast paint, and the Busby as well. And the rider, I've given a quick wash over with Agrax Earthshade. And luckily, and to my absolute joy, it hasn't come up looking too ridiculous. Happy days! Games Workshop's Lead Belcher Silver for the uh, Sabre. I haven't gone right across the uh, actual model there because uh, it looks more like a lump of friggin' metal. Um, rather than a Sabre. Um, yep, stirrups. A little bit on the uh, carbine there. And around tougher side. Of course the scabbard and stirrups again. Right, so I've had a bit of a tidy up now, and uh, I've done a base layer for the uh, anything that's going to be red, basically, or white. Um, and a yellow band around the middle there. And of course, a little bit of white around the edge of the uh, saddle cloth there. So I've gone with Vallejo's brass to do the gold. So you've got the strap around the hat, chin strap. A little bit around the cuffs there, uh, trouser stripe, a little bit on the bed rolls, blanket rolls, whatever call them. Uh, the washboard, which has come out terribly, which is rather annoying, but such is life. And the little bits on the scabbard there. Um, I think the only variation is on the officer who actually has a gold sash around him there. Not that it shows up too well, of course, but... Uh, the officer's fur I've done in Celestra Grey, just round the cuff and the uh, edges of the jacket there. So to finish up, I've gone with Games Workshop's uh, Evil Sun's Red for the dabs on his belt, his hat sock, that's an official term. Um, and the rather groovy red line on his red and black racing saddle there. I do have it on good historical authority that an officer of the Hazars at this point in his career could go online and order one of these seats directly from Recaro and not have to make do with one of those horrible knockoffs on eBay. True story, look it up. So there we go, that's the 7th Regiment of Hazars done. So um, thank you for watching, tune in for the next one and uh, get them painted.